Hey guys, I'm heading to the grocery store and I thought I'd take you along with me. We've been in quarantine for about a month and today is the first day that you are not allowed outside without a mask. And while I tried to complete my mask, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I see people with full PPE visors on. Uh, unfortunately, it's very hard to sew a mask with the toddler around who hates the sound of the sewing machine. So thankfully my mother-in-law made this mask for grandpa. And since he only goes to the bodega four times a day, he let me borrow it so we can get groceries. You know, so we could eat in between lotto winnings. Uh, but here we go. Hey guys, my audio cut out right here. I don't know if it's like the way I'm holding the camera or my mask but I thought I'd just talk to you guys now. The reason I'm doing this video is because we are living in a really, really, really weird time and especially live in Brooklyn. I walk to get my groceries most of the time and it's a very, very, very small grocery store and I thought it would be interesting to people other places. It's really a very tight quarter situation, so it does get very stressful. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't even know if you can hear me right now. But um, I did go to Costco. It took three hours to shop at Costco because it took two hours to even get into the store. And which is good, it's safer that way. Uh, it, this line wrapped around the store twice. It was meant to like keep the workers safe, which is 100% what needs to happen. We're all in this together. But I really thought it would be an hour which is silly. Um, this one will only take an hour because we really completely ran out of groceries. Like, we have stable stuff, we have pasta, but we have, we have a freezer full of fish and meat. We have no vegetables, we have no fruit. Uh, we're running low on milk, which is hard for the baby. So, let's get to it. Okay guys, I had all the intentions of the world to record in the store. It just didn't work out. I'm gonna show you everything I got when I get home. Bye. Okay, I'm back at home. I've unpacked the groceries and the baby was starving and woke up so she's having an apple. But this is one of the things we got. Um, I, caught, I carried two bags to the store and filled them to the brim and got back here just with fruits and veg for the most part. We go through a ton of eggs, so I'm trying to ration us right now, but I got two cartons of eggs. They are organic, that's the only thing the store carried, but I tend to buy organic anyway. They, I have a bunch of bananas. The baby goes through an insane amount of bananas. I have three yams and some small potatoes. I have six avocados because they have so many of them. And I was like, she loves avocados. So there we go. Garlic. We have been running on garlic powder for the last couple of days, so I got garlic. Um, I have raspberries. I have blackberries, which are not coming up on the camera. Strawberries. I got five apples. The baby's eating one right now. Broccoli and cauliflower. Bread, because for some reason we have no bread, and our oven is not really working right now, so that's not helpful. Um... I got a baguette because they had a lot of baguettes uh, and I like to support the local business. This is a local bakery that does this so I felt okay about that. And tortillas. We do a lot of tacos. I have a lot of meat in the fridge for tacos. Uh, I could always turn these into chips too. And I got roses. I got white roses. They make me happy and to be honest it's a small payment for a little bit of happiness every day to look at them. Okay so I'm going to go put these away. You okay Baba? Apple, this apple. No, no, no. You eat this apple. You get one apple. You don't get 50 apples. You need to finish what you are eating. Okay. I'll see you guys in a bit. 
here are my beautiful new roses. Uh, I do have to say that buying flowers with every groceries that I've been picking up has really been lifting my moods, especially being stuck inside all day, especially during spring. It's nice to have a little bit of the outside inside and it makes me happy when I come down to the kitchen in the morning and I tend to be spending a ton of time in the kitchen.